Hello everyone. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> it has been like 16 months, I think, since I last uploaded. Now, hopefully I am back, but I'm still not 100% okay health-wise. But I'm still doing my best to recover from my neck and shoulder issues that plagued me for over three years. But anyway, I'm gonna explain my absence and what's going on in this video. So let's talk about where I have been for over a year. Three years ago, I started to have a bad ache in uh, my neck and shoulder area. It started a bit light, like in the beginning, just some muscle spasm here and there when I wake up or if I drew for like 8 hours straight. I didn't think anything of it. I thought it's not a big deal, just a simple pain, so I completely neglected it altogether. I thought I might have pulled a muscle or something. But for a whole year, it started to get worse and worse. My drawing hours got way less than before, I couldn't do 8 hours at all. Anything above 3 hours was absolute hell. Until finally the breaking point happened. It happened I think few days after I uploaded the last video back in September the 15th I think, last year. I just couldn't even hold a pen anymore, without my neck literally is on fire. Bad migraines started to go from once a month to once a week to every single day. I finished like a box of Advil or aspirin every 10 days. Taking up to 4 pills a day just to numb the pain enough to make me sleep at night. I still tried to draw a bit here and there but I couldn't even last 10 minutes. So after a while I just knew I had to check it out. Because it wasn't going away anytime soon. So I went to the first doctor. And I say first because I went to so many after that. So I told him what was going on, he was uh, specialized in back and neck injuries. Uh, so he asked for x-rays, MRAs, did some physical checkup. So after the results came back, he saw some major issues in my neck and back area. My neck curve was completely reversed, and my shoulders moved far ahead than they should be. Along with some spine dislocation here and there. So he wrote me a prescription of 4 different drugs and told me to take them for 3 years. 3 long years. I really hate to take any pills at all. But I was in dire pain, I had to take anything to just take the pain away. So I had to take up to 10 pills every single day for 3 years. I thought I was too young to do this to be honest, but I did it anyway for 8 months. The drugs just felt weird, some medication was... Uh, basically antidepressants. I didn't know why I'm, I'm taking antidepressant for back pain, but I took it anyway. But most of the medication wasn't solving the problem, just taking the edge off the pain. Uh, then the side effect kicked in. I started having anxiety and panic attacks out of nowhere, which to me was even worse than the back pain itself. Finally, I decided to google the medication that I was taking. I wanted to find out what these drugs were about. And I found out that 4 drugs he gave me, all of them were banned in 90% of the world. Even the countries that made the medication banned them. Due to the horrible side effect they have. Some of them had uh, suicidal thoughts as a side effect. So this doctor basically gave me drugs that aren't allowed to be used on humans anywhere in the world. So right away I just stopped the medication called Turkey. All of them. But I didn't know that I shouldn't actually do that because some of the medication had the uh, opioid component in the drugs which led to horrible two weeks of withdrawal, of hallucinations, sweats, migraines and even more panic attacks. But I was off medication for good. Of course after cutting out the medication the pain came back with a vengeance. It was horrible. So I went to see a physical therapy center. Some people told me it was the best in the country so I went there. The doctor there told me I need a full body rehabilitation, which means I have to do over 52 physical therapy sessions for 6 months. And it will cost around $5,000. <laughs> of course I laugh now because <laughs> I'm still in debt since my college days. And I can barely make the rent as it is right now. So I thought, yeah, I'm, that's not gonna happen. I decided not to do it, of course. I don't have the money to pay $5,000 for physical therapy. So a friend of mine told me to go to a chiropractor. He said it's much cheaper, it's like $60 a session and it will make it a bit better. 
So I did. He checked me up. Barely even looked at the X-ray and the MRAs. So he just decided to start right away from the first visit. He said it's just a simple muscle ache and it's gonna go away in one session. Of course, it wasn't the end of it. He kept asking me to come back. By the sixth session, he done more damage to my body even before I went to him. I didn't have any problem with my lower back, but with six sessions, my lower back was killing me. After the last session he did, I couldn't even walk. So he gave me more painkillers and told me to come back the next day, which I was like, hell no, I'm not coming back to this. He was like a medieval doctor. He was just beating me for like 15 minutes and it just make everything worse. So with the fourth attempt to solve this, I decided to try osteopathic therapy. I heard good things about it. I just wanted to try anything to make this pain go away. So I found the best clinic for osteopathic therapy in my country and I said I'm gonna pay as much as it costs just to get real cure for this. So I found one that wasn't cheap, it was like $200 for the first visit and $150 for each visit. And it was like 50 miles away from me, so I had to do it. The minute he saw me, he told me right away I don't give any medication. So I thought that was good. He said we are here to heal, not to make money and of course you know what that means. I was like considering it was $200, I'm sure you don't. But anyway, I just shook my head and told him to start the session. He took one minute, I'm really not joking, one minute of head cracking and then he told me to do three exercises every day for a month and the pain will go away. I won't even have to come back to him. But if I'm still in pain after a month of this exercises, he told me to come back and I swear to God he said this, we will we will think of something then. So I thought, dear God, this must be hell of exercises. So I went home and started doing it. Of course, they didn't do anything. I thought one minute for $200. And it made the pain even worse. So I decided to give this one more chance before I just give up on it. Another friend of mine told me about a doctor he went to when he had the same pain. And he told me the doctor hated to give any medication. So I thought, Okay, I will see. So I took my x-rays and MRAs for the fifth time and went to the doctor. And he said, I have so many muscle spasms all over my back and my neck. And it felt like my back was just one frozen block of solid, of mangled muscles all together. And then he said, here's the solution. He picked up a paper and started writing more medication. He wrote 12 pills a day for a month. 360 pills in one month. He told me to take it and come back if I'm still in pain. So I get out from his clinic. I look at the paper. I go get the medication and again, it's the same thing. They were all banned everywhere. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but honestly, they are just selling drugs for the sake of it. Not a single one of them tried to actually hear the thing or just do some... I mean, I see on YouTube videos, people getting cracks on their heads and shoulders and back and they feel better. None of them even try to do that. I don't even think they know how to do it, to be honest, where I live. So this time I thought, I'm not going to go through the whole panic attack thing again. I took the prescription and just threw it and went home. So I went back home. I was in just horrible pain. I thought, why not decide to search for the cure myself? And I went to YouTube and started to just look for the cure myself. I just realized there are many factors to my conditions. First of all, being overweight, uh, being under stress, bad posture while drawing especially, forward head issues, very low magnesium intake, bad diet and so on. So I decided to fix all this. I went right away into the keto diet. I know some people out there heard about the keto diet and some think it's bad, some people think it's good. But I actually did it and lost 60 pounds in less than 4 months. Honestly, I just stopped all the carbohydrates, all the sugar for 4 months. And I lost 60 pounds right away. I upped my magnesium intake, cut all the junk food, and did way more exercises than I did before. Basically jogging and body stretching to pull my head back into to its natural position. 
So this did take the, the migraines off a little bit from the daily event to about once a week or once every 10 days. But the pain didn't go away still. So I decided to google again and find out why my muscles are spasming every single day. And why they are coming back over and over. Here's the video that I saw. A trigger point is a small muscle contraction which can be felt as a small nodule. Pushing on this nodule is very painful. Trigger points can exist in each muscle of the body. I will put a link for it in the description. It completely blew my mind that there are trigger points in the muscles that pull down the end point where the muscles attach in the neck and shoulder area causes this muscle spasm. So the pain doesn't come from the trigger point itself but from the place the muscles are pulling down. So I sat in my chair and tried to do what he said and dear god the feeling was overwhelming. I was almost in tears. When I massage the trigger point in the right shoulder, my neck muscles just unraveled with a shot of electricity went through my head all down to my feet in the same time. I almost cried of the relief of the pain first time in 3 years. A 30 seconds massage to my shoulder blade trigger, I just couldn't believe it. 5 doctors and none of them told me this. They just threw bottles of medication in my face. 30 seconds of massage and I was back to where I was 3 years ago. It was incredible. So I sat in my bed and started locating all the trigger points in my back. It was like 25 different trigger points in spherical shapes all over my shoulder right and left. So I massaged every one of them for like 30 seconds to 60 seconds each. And my whole neck and shoulder just went back to normal. I really couldn't believe it was that easy with solution. Now of course the solution wasn't that easy. Cause one hour later all of them came back again. All the trigger points. Went into spasm again. And pulled my neck back to the previous situation. So, <clears throat> so I did the massage again and again and again for 12 times the first day. But this time when I woke up I felt much much better than every other day. Of course there were some spasm here and there but I did the same thing massaging all over my back and shoulders but this time not 12 times a day for 8 times throughout the day the next week 6 times and the week after that just once in the morning and once at night so I realized the trigger points didn't come back to spasm if you massage them at least once or twice it just took longer for me cause they are in spasm mode for over 3 years so in one week my body went back to normal after 3 years of absolute hell well not completely normal but the pain just went 95% less than it was. I was so happy to be honest but in the same time so pissed at these doctors, osteopaths, chiropractors either didn't know or didn't want to solve the issue because it was so easy for I don't know for whatever reason they think either it's money or I don't know. Anyway after two weeks of feeling a bit relaxed and honestly happy for the first time in 3 years. I decided to do the incredible thing. To draw again. So I did. And for 30 minutes my shoulders locked up again. I massaged it and it went back to normal. So I drew for another 30 minutes. The first day I drew for almost 2 hours. The first time since a year and a half. I was so happy to be honest. And again rusty as hell because I didn't draw anything for a year and a half. But mostly happy because at one point I thought honestly I will never draw again. Two more weeks and I'm drawing between 3 to 4 hours a day. I'm still not 100% recovered. I still feel pain when I wake up and before I sleep. So I'm still trying to take it easy. At the same time I have so many ideas to draw. And I miss art so much. I just can't wait any longer to get back to work. Even though I didn't draw for a year. I was writing down notes for videos and ideas and series that I want to make if I ever recovered. But before I go into all that, I want to talk a bit about why did I reach this back pain and so hopefully you can avoid it. The main reason was bad posture, especially while drawing. Moving my body forward and my head even more while drawing for hours and hours actually reversed my neck section of the spine to the other side. It's called a reversed neck curve, which caused all the problem I had later on. 
Another reason is taking no break while drawing. I kept drawing sometimes up to 8 hours, sometimes even 12 hours, one sitting, same position, hunched over a drawing or a painting, completely ignoring the pain I was feeling on my neck and shoulder for years. I didn't even shade the position. Another reason was being overweight and eating junk food all the time and not going out to run or even walk. It was a horrible mistake, especially as an artist. As an artist, your body is your tool, and overweighing it with more weight doubles the stress on your muscles while drawing. I just realized you can't honestly be a fat artist. You have to be a starving artist in so many ways, because your body is already under stress while drawing. You are holding the pen maybe a bit too tight, or you are focusing on the drawing, your head is forward. The more weight you put on it, the more is gonna be exhausted. Next reason was stress and anxiety. And that was due to uh, being in a bad relationship. Negative people and wasting time trying to fix others is a big factor in going from a healthy athletic person to an overweight, depressed, anxious and stressed person very fast. Finally, neglecting the pain for so long. If I noticed the pain that started three years ago, it would have helped a lot to stop the cause before it went to the extreme. If your pain didn't stop in one week or two, fix it. I'm afraid to say to even go to a doctor because of my bad experience, but hopefully the doctors in your country aren't just monsters like mine. So stopping the pain as it begins is much better than leaving it for another year or two. So what did I do to fix all these issues? and what you can learn from my mistakes. The first thing is always have a good posture while drawing. Make sure your sketchbook or canvas is upright where you can draw with your back stretched and your shoulders resting on the normal position. Watch out for your neck and head positions. Don't move your head way out of your body forward or you're gonna really deform your spine in a bad way. Secondly, exercise and diet. Try your best as an artist to lower your weight to the ideal state. Maybe other people can afford to be overweight, but as an artist, our back, shoulders and neck muscles are constantly under stress. Adding more to it is a bad idea, trust me, I really, really learned that the hard way. Stretching. Always stretch your neck, shoulders, back, arms and even hands every 30 to 60 minutes, especially if you're drawing to keep your muscles relaxed and avoid any spasm that would hold you back from drawing in the long run. The most important part is to take breaks every one or two hours of drawing. Get up, stretch your legs, your body, your hands for five or 10 minutes. Go look out for a window to stretch your eye muscles as well before coming back to drawing again. Get rid of stress and anxiety as much as you can. If the stress attached to people around you, then make the good decision of getting rid of them. Trust me, you can't change people around you. You're gonna waste a lot of time doing that. Also, never neglect your pain for too long. As I said, if it lasts more than a week or two, go check it out. Finally, trigger points. I will leave some link in the description for good videos about trigger points. Don't overdo them, or you may damage your muscles even more. If you do it for too long or too much, you're gonna have a headache out of your own therapy. Simple and gentle massage over the trigger point once or twice a day will relax the attached muscles quickly. Do it once or twice a day or after you finish a long drawing session. Okay, now I'm done babbling about myself. You may wonder what does this comeback mean and what was I doing all these years? Now that I feel a bit better, I'm back and I'm back with vengeance. For a whole year, I kept a notebook to write down the video ideas that I would like to do and I have over 150 to 200 videos on my notebook and I'm gonna make a huge series out of it. First I'm gonna continue some of the old series that I already did but I didn't finish or wasn't that good and I'm not gonna do it the same way I'm gonna revamp it with more visual aid with better quality some series like the top 20 ways to draw the figure I need to complete that or even my own visual library and portrait series. I will have some more videos to add to the series later on. The big news is the huge series that I'm planning to do for the past year and a half. It's probably gonna be the biggest art series on all of YouTube. It will contain three different semesters and each one will have over 30 chapters. 
and every chapter will have over 10 lessons and every lesson will have over 3 to 4 sections. Trust me guys, it is really really big. Anywhere between 200 to 300 videos. I will also of course do some personal art and fan art, figure drawing and so on. Just to keep myself up to date. Now the uploading schedule may change a little bit because I'm not 100% back to normal yet as I said. So I'm gonna work as much as I can and as hard my body will allow me. But still not 8 hours a day maybe. Hopefully with time I will reach that once again. So also Patreon will see some changes as well. But don't worry, nothing will be put behind the paywall as I promised. Every video will be for free and for all the minute I upload it. It will be basically a tip jar where you can leave as much as you want as a donation. But without any perks I'm afraid. I may do free giveaway later on but for now I just want to focus on making these videos as soon as possible. Now before I go, I would like to end this video with a little bit of sneak peek of the things I'm already working on. Here it is. Now that's just some of the videos in the new series from different semesters and some of the video in the figure drawing and portrait series. In the next video, I will explain the new series and go over all the new tutorials I'm working on, step by step and hopefully start uploading one by one as I finish them. One note I need to add on the upcoming tutorials. There are two things working against me, to be honest. My laptop is now 10 years old, the laptop I used for drawing, and it started to show really bad performance. Some lagging, some freezing, some even crashing here and there. Plus, this is what the screen looked like. This is the Toshiba Portage, it came out uh, with only one pen and one nip and and the nip for the pen is like a sharp knife now so it's scratch all over the screen so that's one issue I'm dealing with the other thing is that I have to take a break every 30 minutes to one hour I'm still not fully recovered yet as I said so if my tutorials went below the usual quality I do let me know please and I will try to figure something out before I go, I need to ask you a question that would really help me edit the new series videos. It's for something I was thinking about as I'm writing down the lessons. As I mentioned, the series will have three big semesters and each one have different chapters. Every chapter have different lessons. But every lesson may take up to one hour each. So if you have seen my video tutorials before, you will know that I really, really go into details explaining stuff. And I really hate the 3 2 minutes videos uh, of art tutorials online that have a lot of visual art and uh, speed paintings and you can't really understand most of it. So this is where you come in. I have two choices. Make every lesson to be one video no matter how long it is, an hour or more. Or break up the lessons into different parts, each part will be around 5 to 10 minutes. So it will be semester 1 chapter 1, lesson 1, and the lesson will be one video, or semester 1, chapter 1, lesson 1, part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 minutes each. Now the second option is better for me. Of course as a YouTube channel, more videos mean more revenue. Option 1 on the other hand is better for you. It will have the full art class feel to the video, as if you're taking one long class. But I don't know if long videos are for everyone. So I'm gonna leave this option up to you. I'm gonna put a link in the description and the comment section down below for a poll. The poll will stay up for a couple of weeks. So please take a part in it. I want to say before I go, thank you to everyone on Patreon who kept donating even when I was gone. Also thank you all for your great comments, wishing me well and hoping for me to come back all these months. Thank you for staying here and I hope I won't disappoint you by disappearing again. I just hope my body would work with me this time and hopefully together we can make the biggest art series on YouTube possible. Also thank you to all my Patreons who donated throughout the years. And this is it for this uh, comeback or resurrection uh, video for now. The next video will be about the new series. I will explain how it's gonna be and who it's gonna be for. So until then, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.